flew to Tasmania to track down the elusive man who headbutt the Prime Minister of Australia. Yes, that happened, and yes, I will find him. A Hobart man charged with headbutting Tony Abbott has no regrets and says he would do it again if he had the chance. Tony Abbott allegedly headbutted on a Hobart street. Have zero tolerance for that type of violence. Some are calling him a hero, others think he's a villain. You should never meet an opinion with a headbutt. On September 21st, 2017, Australian Prime Minister Tony Abbott, while campaigning against gay marriage, was headbutted by a Tasmanian man named Astro Lave, also known as DJ Funk Knuckle. <laughs> Astro Lab says it wasn't about same-sex marriage, but because... I hate Tony Abbott. It has absolutely nothing to do with marriage equality. I was thinking, there's Tony Abbott. I'm going to headbutt him. In any other country, Astro Labe, also known as DJ Funk Knuckle, would have been shot before he came within 100 yards of the Prime Minister or locked in prison for life. But because this is Australia, most people thought that a DJ with a mohawk headbutting a prime minister was a little bit funny. Tony Abbott was headbutted by this man, a Tasmanian, a Tasmanian anarchist who goes by the names Astro Labe and even better, DJ Funk Knuckle. So Astro kind of got away with it, became a Tasmanian folk hero, and even had his own unofficial holiday bestowed upon him by the locals. Nut the cunt day. In this video, I will be chronicling this important piece of Australian history and attempting to track down Astro himself for an interview to answer the very important question, in Australia, can you get away with a crime if that crime is kinda funny? But first, to properly understand the day Astro headbutt Tony Abbott, we need to rewind a little bit to the events just before. The month is September. Australia is voting on whether or not to legalise gay marriage. The year is 19. 1932. Just kidding. Way more recent than that. This was 2017. We're a little bit behind on the times. Despite having a gay sister himself, former Prime Minister Tony Abbott was a vocal supporter of the No campaign. Vote No. During his campaigning, Tony Abbott paid a visit to Tasmania, where it was illegal for men to be gay until 1943. Just kidding again. Way more recent. It was illegal until 1997. What about women being gay, you ask? Well, in Tasmania, that was literally always legal, because it's hot when chicks do it. And on September 20th, 21st, 2017, during a stroll through Salamanca while campaigning against gay marriage, Tony Abbott crossed paths with Astro Labe. Decided never going to get the opportunity to headbutt that again. Sorry. Tony Abbott again. Um, so I seized the moment. To properly understand this moment in Australian history, I tracked down the most Tasmanian man on earth, rapper and comedian Greeley. Seriously, this guy is so Tasmanian, he got the state tattooed on his face. Call me the face of Tassie, I got Tassie on my face, big grill. Now, Greeley was in Salamanca at the time, and according to him, after Tony Abbott was headbutt, the entire town went straight to the pub to celebrate. They had an open bar for an hour, it was free beer. <laughs> <laughs> and, and how many people are there? It was packed. And they're all there for that? Yep. And when I arrived, they were in the middle of chanting, For oh, he's a jolly good fellow, for oh, he's a jolly good fellow. And is, is Astro there? Astro was there. Yeah, and they're singing that for him? Yes. <laughs> That's, that is, I don't think that would happen in any other country on earth. If someone assaulted a politician in America, they would have to run away because half of the country would try and kill them. Half mm. the country would be stoked, mm. but the other half would try and kill them. Mm. Whereas Australia is the only place where you can headbutt an ex-prime minister and 95% of people are like, that's awesome, Great, yeah. let's celebrate. Let alone no FBI, no CIA, yeah. nothing like that. Yeah, that is, that's also shocking that he gets to headbutt the prime minister and he goes, all right, anyway, I'm going to the pub if you need me. Mm. <laughs> I went home later that night and then I just watched it spread across the world. Mm. I woke up the next morning and I put on Sky News and it was along the, the headline along the bottom that yeah. kept running by. <clears throat> Tony Abbott headbutted by Tasmanian. And I just watched it spread across the world all the way to John Oliver. I am in no way condoning Tony Abbott being attacked. What I will say is, 
thinking to yourself, there's Tony Abbott, I'm going to headbutt him, is entirely natural. Different shows in America, I think Jim Jeffries did. Look at this guy. He's not being interviewed in prison. He's being interviewed in front of a pub the day after headbutting the Prime Minister. In terms of assaulting a politician, mm. right, there's obviously he didn't get away with it, but doing two months prison mm. is kind of like, all right. Yeah. I mean, I guess I guess he was very lucky in that, that, those regards. I feel like if it happened somewhere else, even in Australia, it might have been a different case. So you think it was if it happened in a different state? Mm, I think it, if it, imagine if it happened in New South Wales. Yeah, it'd been a lot lot harsher. Well, New South Wales, you can't even make a video about a politician without getting arrested. So very true. That's very why true. I'm filming this in Tasmania. Yeah. <laughs> Prison. That reminds me of things being incredibly secure and locked away. And that reminds me of today's sponsor, NordPass, the best password manager in the game. We all know how the internet is now. Every single website has its own password that you need to log into. And I know for sure that you're using the same password for just about every website and that is not secure and that is where NordPass can help you. NordPass will securely store all of your passwords in one place and even generate incredibly secure and unique passwords for every single website or app that you use. Not only that, you can also secure your credit card details and personal information so you can just hit it with one click, filter it all out for you and it's incredibly secure. Super easy stuff. NordPass is a zero knowledge password manager which means no one but you can see your passwords. Not even the NordPass team can get in there. It's completely encrypted, completely secure. Best of all, you get an exclusive NordPass deal plus an extra month free if you go to nordpass.com slash Lewis Spears or enter in Lewis Spears at the checkout. NordPass is something that I've integrated daily into my personal life and my business, so I want you to use it. They support the show, so enter in code Lewis Spears at the checkout or go to nordpass.com slash Lewis Spears. Support the brands that support what we do, let's get back to it. Well, Greeley, I have just one last question for you. Sure. What are the chances that we could get Astro to come and talk with me about this? I think there's a very high chance. I'm pretty sure he'll be lurking around here somewhere. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go find him. Let's see what happens. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what happens. I tried my best to get a coherent interview out of Astro and... Spiky. I woke up like this. Yeah, we kind of get there in the end. Astro is... A sick name. Like, it's also definitely like a, a, a 14 year old named himself name. But I, but I, but I think that's cool that you've kept it, you know? Thanks for sitting down the chat with me. It's nice to meet you. Still camera show, but nice to meet you, brother. For a man who has the confidence to headbutt the leader of his country, Astro is a surprisingly shy and sweet guy, who perhaps unsurprisingly can't remember much of the day he headbutt the Prime Minister. Let's go to the day that you headbutted Tony Abbott. Or do you I want to go before that? that? Um, I'm quickly realising that this may be my toughest interview yet. But what I remember oh, okay. of the day yeah. I headbutted Tony Abbott. Mm -hmm. The pigs told me the day after I had put it turning over. Right. You know the cop knock, like? Right? There's a very No, I've, I've never bad experienced noise. the cop knock. Oh, quarter to the crack of noon, I wake up to this massive bang sound. Very fucking loud, angry. I thought like they're trying to put a hole in the door. <laughs> so I'm greeted by two lovely officers of the law. Look, mate, you know you've done something fucking stupid. You may as well just come with us now. <sighs> Sounds all right. Fill me in. <laughs> You're telling me you don't remember headbutting Tony Abbott last night? <laughs> so, naturally, I've collapsed, literally fucking creased myself and fallen to the floor laughing. <laughs> going, oh fuck, I did that. Do they, do they arrest you at so, that point? Yeah. Yep, you heard that right. Astro wasn't arrested until the day after the incident, which means he was able to headbutt the leader of a country and then just walk away and go to the pub where he was then celebrated by the rest of the locals. Now, after causing all of this commotion, Astro wasn't, like, taken away to a cell or put in a helicopter and taken off to a black site by FBI officials and then interrogated to find out his motive. No, he was just allowed to walk around doing media interviews with several different outlets outlets outside the pub as long as they paid his fee. In the circus began. Yeah. So my standard fee was a long neck of Coopers. 
<laughs> so, if someone buys you a long neck of Coopers, you'll tell them about the day you headbutt a Tony Abbott. Now, despite the media's attempt to paint Astro as this crazed, violent, LGBT anarchist activist terrorist, and the politicians attempt to make, make him out to be some evil villain who should be locked away, the public, for the most part, either didn't care or just thought it was kind of funny. There was a complete lack of public outrage, for the most part, to the point where Astro, at the end of all of this, only ended up doing two months prison, <laughs> which is pretty good because he assaulted the leader of the country. I can complete a sentence, two months. Tony Abbott <laughs> couldn't complete his sentence. <laughs> I think you meant to be Prime Minister for four years. <laughs> <laughs> and in that light sentence, there is a nugget of truth about Australian culture. We're a former prison colony, so our entire country is founded upon an inherent lack of respect for whoever is in charge. I mean, our only real folk hero is a guy called Ned Kelly, a dude who would dress up in a homemade suit of armour and shoot cops, the people in charge. That's the guy that we learn about in primary school as a dude who we should, I don't know, I kind of look up to, or at the very least think, that's kind of cool, good on him. So at the end of all of this, if tracking down Astro and interviewing him and finding out all about his story has taught me anything about my country and my people, it's this. In Australia, you can get away with almost anything, as long as it's a little bit funny. Would you do it again, do you reckon? Probably. I don't know. Depends on my level of sobriety.